How is it going everybody? You're watching Danibal Tech and today I'm going to give you a tip that can pretty much save your life. I'm going to teach you how to remove your Apple Watch's forgotten passcode. So let's say you just removed your Apple Watch from your wrist and when you put it back in, it asks you for the passcode of course, but you just don't remember, there's no way you can remember and then you just can't access your Apple Watch or even worse, your Apple Watch is already inactive because you tried so many times. Don't worry, I got you covered. So I made a video like that around two years ago and it was very successful but as you know things changed uh, we have new apple watch models we have new watch os versions so menus are different things are different so i decided to make this video to help you guys once and for all fix all your problems and the best part you don't even need a computer all you need is your apple watch itself so how cool is that without further ado let's just begin and get started okay guys so here's the deal and the process is very simple so uh your apple watch is locked it's either on the screen, so where you can put your passcode, or even worse, you have put it so many times that it is inactive. Like mine, for example, is inactive for five minutes. So how do you do it? As I mentioned, you don't even need your iPhone or anything. It's super easy. So all you have to do is get your cable, so your charging cable, normal one that comes in the box, all right? And then you're gonna plug it in. Not plug, but uh, connect it, right touching. So then uh, the Apple Watch is automatically charging, of course. And then here's where the magic happens. All you need to do is press and hold on the side button. So the button you use to shut down your Apple Watch. So press and hold. And then right here, you're gonna see your sliders. Your slider to power off and your slider for emergency. All you have to do is force touch on the slider to power off. So force touch with a bit of force. So touch and with force touch as you can see and then as you can already see you're gonna get this screen right here uh, asking you to erase all content and settings or to cancel so that's pretty much it keep in mind it's very important to force touch on the slider and not just a tap but a force touch as you saw uh, like I did and uh, as you know if you erase all content and settings you obviously lose all your data but that's no problem because every time you unpair your Apple watch from your iPhone which this process will do uh, it will automatically automatically create a backup so you're not gonna lose all your data or anything like that because later you can recover from a backup all right so that's it all you have to do is erase all content and then it's gonna ask you again uh, if you want to erase if you want to continue and all you have to do is tap here on the confirm button and then all we have to do now is wait okay I'm gonna skip all those loading screens so then I'm gonna get the finished result keep in mind that it's necessary to always leave your Apple watch plugged so plug here on the Apple Watch and plugged on the wall it has to be charging throughout the whole process otherwise you may run into problems okay then after a few seconds it's gonna automatically reboot with the Apple logo and then it's gonna fill this circle right here meaning that the erase process is working another Apple logo is just restarting now and then you get your normal setup pairing screen and the process will start from the beginning as if you just opened your Apple Watch out of the box. So that's pretty much it guys. From here on you can recover from a backup, uh, do your normal process, do your normal setup, put your Apple ID and of course put your new passcode. Please this time put one that you remember and then you're done. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did please make sure to hit the like button down below, hit the comment section, hit the subscribe button and all that you're used to. And also hit the video that I'm gonna put on the screen right here because I'm sure you're gonna love it. So that's pretty much it and we'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye bye.